it's football. But when stepping on the field, there's always a chance of getting injured. We were receiving the kickoff, and after the play was over, we had a, a, a child on the field that was hurt. Scott Jones's son plays for Strom Thurmond's JV team. In a game against Saluda Thursday night, one player went down complaining about numbness in his legs. Of course, the coaches come up, uh, checked him out, and within probably a minute or two, they decided that they needed an ambulance, and they, they, uh, they motioned for them to call. But it would take at least 40 minutes before they heard sirens. <laughs> and EMS arrive at the game. How long does it actually take for an ambulance to, 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 to respond to an injury or somebody that's hurt? At Strom Thurmond, the athletic director says they have ambulances on standby for varsity games, but not JV games because of local EMS resources. To compare, in Richmond County, they have ambulances for both. But one athletic trainer says it really depends on the resources and funding for EMS in the county. Frustration, uh, not able to do anything about it. Uh, the only thing I could, you know, I wanted to yell out in frustration, hey, where's, you know, where's our first responders? But watching a kid on the field for that long would worry any parent. If it does not concern you, then um, something's wrong.